Motor Funner here. Today I'm out here with my 04 GMC Sierra. And also you're going to need some uh, brake fluid and probably an assistant to help you bleed the brakes if you don't have an auto bleeder, which I don't. So before you start bleeding the brakes make sure you top up the fluid in the brake reservoir. And after it's bled, you're going to need to fill it up again one more time. And close up the lid. Now you can start bleeding the brakes. So I've got my front wheels blocked. And I've got the jack up underneath the middle and the jack stand over on this side with the wheels off. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take that rubber cap off of the bleeder screw there. And save that. And this should be a 10 mil, and you're going to want to loosen that bleeder screw right there in just a minute. My wife's in the truck, and she's going to do the brakes for me. Okay, pump, pump it, up. it up. She's pump pumping the brakes up right now until she gets some pressure. Once you get a, get, get a pressure, pressure, you make, make sure, sure you hold it there, there, right? Okay. You, you got, got pressure? Mm-hmm. Okay, now don't make, make sure, sure when it goes to the floor, hold it down until I tell you when. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, I'm going to open it. Mm -hmm. Now you should have a hose attached to this so you don't spew it out all over the place, but I don't. And you can see all the air bubbles coming out of there now. Is it to the floor? Mm-hmm. Okay, that okay. up, get, get some more, more pressure. Put it down. Okay. And more air bubbles. Oh, don't let up yet. Oops, I did. <laughs> Do it again. You gotta wait till I say. Mm -hmm. Pump it up. Okay. okay. Pump it up. How does it feel? Tight. Okay, we're going to do it one more time. You got it? Mm -hmm. A little bit more air came out there. Okay. All right, we're good. Okay. Thank you. And make sure you replace the cap on there. Just to keep the junk out of the tip. And wipe all that up. And wipe up the rest of the mess on the floor. And make sure you refill the reservoir after you're done bleeding him. Okay, I'm just going to rattle the wheel back on. And this is uh, the kind of stuff we get on our wheels here in Canada. Being that it's winter, we're starting to get some salt on here. And if you want to see salt damage video that I've got about these rims, I'll leave a link right there. Okay, and I'm just going to torque them to 110 foot-pounds. I'm not sure if this is 110 or 105 on this truck. I know I read it once, but uh, 110 is good for me. It's always worked. Now remember, after you've had the line off, uh, the first time you go to put the brake on, it's probably going to be spongy, and it might even be spongy for a short little time after you start driving it, but uh, it will improve. So thanks for watching, and subscribe if you like, and make sure you hit the like button if you like.